Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brick Ninja. Today I am going to be reviewing the Lego Jurassic World set, Sty Gimmo Lock Dinosaur Escape. This is a retired Lego set. It has 129 pieces and it is a 4 plus set. This set has 3 minifigures, 2 dinosaurs, and um, 3 separate main builds and a couple of side builds. So now that we've gotten all the, the introductions out of the way, let's get to the review of the set. So here are the three main builds of the set. And first let's start with the vehicle. And this is just a simple vehicle. There's um, nothing really to it. Um, this is a four plus set. So it does have this big um, piece that you build upon. Um, and it does have two um, printed Jurassic World logo pieces. Which, these are really nice prints, so I'm glad that um, we have these in prints and not just stickers. Um, and there's a steering wheel inside where you can put the minifigure in there to drive the vehicle. So, that's that. And this right here is, I guess, supposed to be like a pin for a dinosaur. So you have these two little gate pieces right here that flap up and down. And then you just take the dinosaur and you just stick the dinosaur inside of there. Um, so that's that. And for the main build of the set, there's this little, um, I guess, playground type area. Um, so um, this has a ladder on the back where you can climb up. Um, it has a 2x4 red um, piece with a little white slope to create a bed and it has these two big tree pieces and um, three big um, leaf pieces and also a slide piece and I guess kind of like a I don't know if you would call this like a burgundy orange but that's what it might be um, I don't know specific names of colors so Forgive me if I'm wrong on that, if there are any color experts out there. And um, you also get this um, half-broken egg piece, I guess as if a baby dinosaur just hatched. And um, just like with other Lego slides, you can take a minifigure and you can just have them slide down. And it's actually really fun to do that. I enjoy doing that. It's, it's fun. It's relaxing. So, those are the three main builds of the set. And for the side builds, you get two of these exact same builds. Um, you have these little fence pieces on a, um, or on two, uh, one by six, um, green plates. And then these little translucent orange cylinder cone pieces on the top. And you also get this little sign right here with another um, Jurassic World printed symbol right there. And here is the main dinosaur of the set. And I'm not going to try to pronounce the name again because whatever this dinosaur's name is, it is just too hard for me to pronounce. But this is a really cool dinosaur. Um... And the head can spin 360 on it. The mouth doesn't open like it does on some other dinosaurs. The arms can move up and down. Um, and the legs can move as well. Um, and the tail... The tail is uh, it's attached to the main body of the dinosaur. But it's actually kind of a rubbery material. So that is the main... A uh, big dinosaur of the set and all of the main and side builds So now that we've taken a look at all of those I'm going to, to show you all the minifigures now Here is Claire Deering and This is a good minifigure. I really like the torso on this minifigure how you can see the shirt underneath the jacket and she comes with a trank gun piece and a dart that was introduced all the way back in the old Lego dino theme from the early 2010s. And turning her around, there is her back printing. 
and removing her hairpiece, here is her alternate facial expression. So that is Claire Deering. Here is Brooklyn, and this is a simple minifigure. She has a pink jacket on over a red short for her torso. She has pink arms and um, regular dark blue legs and just a little bit of back printing and as you can see she has a pink hair piece tied up in a bun and taking that off here is her alternate facial expression so that is Brooklyn here is Ben and this minifigure has a walkie-talkie for an accessory and on his torso, he has a um, fanny pack. And it, his torso is also light blue. And removing his hair piece, so you can get a lot better look at his face. There is his face. And turning him around, there is his back printing and his alternate facial expression. That is Ben. And here is the baby Ankylosaurus that comes in this set. And this is a really great mold. And it makes for a really cute looking baby dinosaur. And you can feel the edges on the back of it. It has a rough texture for I guess the scales on the top of the dinosaur. So that is the baby Ankylosaurus. And now that we've taken a look at all of the minifigures and the second dinosaur that comes in the set, I'm going to put everything together and give you all my final thoughts. So that is my review of this set. And my thoughts and opinions on this set are that I really like this set. And this is a retired Lego set. And the original selling price for this set was $39.99. So $40 in the U.S. And for $40, I mean, it is overpriced, but um, but this is, of course, a 4-plus set. And it comes with bigger pieces, bigger molds, so that would cost more for LEGO to produce. So I guess in that case, it would be expected that the price would be um, higher than people would want it to be. But this is still a really good set, and if you're able to find it nowadays in the aftermarket, I would recommend it, because this set has um, three really good minifigures, and it comes with two really good dinos. And because this is a 4 plus set, all the prints in this set are prints, they are not stickers. And this set comes with a lot of really good big pieces. So this is a really good pieces set along with animals and minifigures. So that is my review of this set and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on this set here today. And as always if you, um, if you enjoyed the video remember to like and subscribe. And as always, Ninja Go!